hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in Django web application how to remove the duplicate records from a table now let's check the final output before reload the browser notice it displaying all the all the records from the table including the duplicate records now let's reload the browser now let's check the drop down list again see now this time it's not showing any duplicate records if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a new django web application first we'll check the table in postgresql database which is a pg admin the table is a fruits table the table name is a fruits table contains two columns id is the auto generated column and f name it's a fruit names if you check in this fruit name column it contains some duplicate fruits now my aim is i want to remove the duplicate fruit names from this table and display only the unique values so let's create a new django web application before creating a new django web application first we'll check create a new folder in e drive right click the mouse continue and select folder and the folder name is remove duplicates enter let's browse this folder now right now this folder is empty now let's create a new django web application in this folder remove duplicates I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django web application. But before that, we need to add the folder which we have created in the E drive. For that, open file and select open folder. The folder I have created in the E drive, this is our folder name, remote duplicates. I have selected that folder, click select folder button. And the folder is successfully added to our Visual Studio panel explorer. At the right side we got the welcome page let's close this welcome page now let's create a new django web application in this folder for that go to view and select terminal and here we got a terminal which is nothing but a command prompt or powershell and notice the path is the e drive this is our the folder name let's create a new application in this folder django hyphen admin start project and the project name is fruits uh, remove duplicate remove duplicates remove duplicates remove duplicates is my application name and notice that the remove duplicates has been created successfully let me expand this app when i expand this app it contains one subfolder with the same folder name the application name and one manage.py which is a python file let me allow to expand this subfolder also and if you notice in the subfolder there is some default python files like settings.py urls.py all these files and folders has been created automatically when i create this application remove duplicates so for creating a app, app next we'll add one folder the templates folder right click the uh, application name click new folder and the folder name is a templates folder and here we got our templates folder let's add one index html page right click the templates folder click new file and the file name is index.html now before adding the designing part in this html page now before adding the html code in this page first we'll add one model space to our subfolder of the application select the subfolder right click the mouse click new file the file name is a models.py enter and here we got our models.py page now in this models page contains a class with the properties so before that let's import the uh, models class from django.db import models then let's define a class called the class name is a fruit model uh, which contains a fruit models models.model and now in this class I'm defining the properties if we check in our table this fruits table contains two columns ID and F name so let's create new two properties ID is equals to models models dot models dot integer field integer field and this 
column this property we check it's a primary key so let's add a primary key for this attribute primary underscore key is equals to true and the second column is the f name is a fruit name models dot uh, car field and the size I'm adding max length is equals to 20 after that I'm defining another class called meta class now this meta class contains our table name db underscore table is equals to building double quotes let's add our table name is a foods table copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file save all next app will add one views page in the subfolder i click the subfolder click new file use the py enter now in this views page contains an actual logic to display only the unique records so it removes the duplicate records from a table so before that we need to import the necessary classes the first class name i'm importing from django.shortcuts import render class the render class is used in Django application when we want to render the templates on the browser we require this render class. So after adding the render class next we will import the models page. My models page is inside my application. So first let's add my application name that models import and the class name is a fruit model. Fruit model. Now let's define a function def uh, display display fruits is a function name and this function request uh, return this function return i want to render requesting my template template is the index.html this templates i'm requesting with the help of this function and the third parameter of this render method uh, now let's add a, a object fruits object is equals to Fruit model, fruit model dot objects, objects dot the values, the values I want to fetch, I want to get the f name. So f name, we should put business symbols. I want to display the f name column name. This property I'm adding here then in this render method put in curly brackets double quotes i'm adding a dictionary a dictionary contains the keys and values so if the key is here i'm adding data you can add any name for the key but the values we are getting from this object fruits object that's it let's save this file save all after that let's configure the url also in the url is a py let's import fast from dot import views then come to the bottom let's add the path between single quotes i'm not adding anything between these single quotes which means now this path will become the default uh, url of our home page after that views dot I'm adding the function name. I want to render this index.html with the help of this display fruits method. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now we need to configure our database. We need to add the application name and we need to configure the templates also. For this application, open settings.py. Settings.py. In the settings.py, first, uh, notice in the install underscore apps let's add our application name which is a remote duplicates copy that one and paste here after adding my application name now in the template section we need to add os.path.join i'm joining my templates folder with the base directory so base underscore directory comma between single quotes i'm adding the templates which is our folder name which contains all my html pages then come to the bottom in the databases section notice the default database engine is a sql like 3 but let's delete this one our database is uh, post sql then the name the default database name let's delete that one 
our database name is the table I have created and the current table the current database and current database then we need to add the credentials also user is equals to to find the user port number and the host name for the postgresql database here notice the postgresql tool the server name let's select that one right click the mouse go to properties here in the properties there is a connection tab click that one and in this tab we can find the postgres username let's copy that one and paste here after that we'll add the password also colon the password is password123 comma then we require the host name the host for the postgresql is a local host copy that one and paste here comma and uh, the last one is a port number we need to add the port number of our database the port number is 5432 copy that one and paste here that's it we have configured the postgresql database to this application and make sure add this template section and join our templates folder with the base directory and remove duplicates that's it let's save this file save all now switch to index.html in the index.html doc type add the html tag close the html tag header section after the header section inside the header section i'm adding the title tag the title and remove duplicates remove duplicate rows from uh, from a table then after the header section the html i'm adding a body tag inside the body i'm adding the center tag the center tag i'm adding the headers how to oh, how to remove duplicate just copy this title and paste here in django postgres sql database after the horizontal line after the horizontal line i am adding a select option element which is our drop down list select in the select i am adding the option the first option is select fruits and this option i am adding a property called selector disable is equals to true then and uh, now i want to display records to fetch the records for that i'm using for loop percentage percentage for um for fruits so display fruits display is an object in the data we are getting from this dictionary key so copy that key paste here and let's close this for loop with and for after that let's add the another option tag now in this option tag let's add a, a expression now in this double quotes between double curly brackets i'm adding fruits display copy that one and paste here dot i'm adding in my column name f name i want to display and let's close this one only the fruit name so i'm adding the column name f name that's it let's save this file save all now here uh, before on the server let's add this remove duplicates the application name to this path cd remove duplicates now let's run python manage dot py run server so after run the server we don't have any issues below it's our web server link let's browse this link control plus mouse click see here we got the output the header tags and, and below that we got our select option which is our drop down list let's open that one if you notice in this drop down list 
It displays all the records, including the duplicate records, duplicate values from this table. So displaying all the nine records in this drop down list. So now let's remove the duplicate records. Go to your views page. So here the fruit model objects that values I'm displaying. Now here I'm adding distinct distinct method. The distinct method it removes the duplicate values from the table. So uh, let's check the output. Now let's check the final output. Before reload the browser, notice it displaying all the du all the records from the table, including the duplicate records. Now let's reload the browser. Now let's check the drop down list again. See now this time it's not showing any duplicate records. That's it. In this video, I have shown how to remove duplicate records from a table in Django application from Postgres SQL database.